Hey guys, Dan here from Daniel Norris FX, and excuse the way the way I'm making this video. This is my third attempt to make this kind of video in two weeks. This is kind of a follow-up to why I've been sort of quiet for the last three weeks. I have been doing second camera on a feature film, which I'm not going to say too much about. It's just a, like a road movie kind of thing around my local area of South Wales. But <clears throat> what I wanted to make this uh, sort of vloggy type video on now is uh, because I want to talk about the most valued bit of gear that I found, surprisingly, uh, that I used the most and I had the most, it was the most helpful. And surprisingly enough, it wasn't a bit of camera gear or anything like that or anything sim or anything like that. It was just this. Which is the waterproof cover that goes around my uh floor bag. But I didn't use it around my floor bag, I used it around my camera. Because we had a very inclement weather uh, around here, it was some most sometimes it was uh, absolutely hammering down with rain. And sometimes it was insanely hot sun. And as you can see on the inside, it's got this reflective silver stuff. So in the sun, it kept my camera nice and cool. And in the rain, especially when we had to mount my camera to the car, it kept it nice and uh, dry. Oh, and uh, these I also want to give a mention to as well. Uh, these are cable ties, but they're special ones because they're reusable. They have a little sort of latch on the side there that when you push that in you can take the cable tie back off. So I've got three of these now and they helped keep this on my camera when it was on the car mount. So yeah, I'm finally able to make this video because the first time uh, I wasn't happy with the way it looked or the way it turned out and the second time I had issues with audio so, which is why I've got lapel here now and I've also got the Rode video mic on top of the GH4 right now going straight in as a backup don't know which one I'm going to use yet but we'll see anyway um, what else can I say oh yeah the this feature film um, I'm not going to go into the story because I don't know if I'm allowed to yet but um, it was this feature film was awesome because it was the first time I'd ever worked on a low loader and if you don't know what that is I'll put some photos here now that I took of it uh, it's pretty much just a lorry with a low with a flatbed on the back that you put a car on and it allows you to film a car in relative safety while it's moving and so on this uh, low loader, you can see there's uh, railings around this outside, and there's a cab there that allows you to look back onto the car. Uh, the crew, like uh, the crew, like the first AD and script supervisor, was in the cab. We was me, we being me, second camera, uh, the, the cinematographer, DOP, uh, the director, and the sound guy were all sort of in front of the car uh, with the tripods mounted to the base of the flatbed shooting the car but of course there were times where I had there was a time where I had to get um, a profile shot of the actresses through the side window of the car so I had to sit on the side one of the side railings squished up against the side of the car with a tripod between my legs so that wasn't comfortable especially not when we had a bump and I had I was sitting on a bit of scaffolding, so <laughs> that was uncomfortable. But uh, yeah, traveling 50 miles an hour up a dual carriageway like that, it gets pretty chilly. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, I'm not really sure what else to say now. Um, I will be doing another uh, video. Sorry for them if I'm making you dizzy moving around like this. Sorry. Um, uh, I will be doing a follow-up video about my uh, about the feature film, uh, not about the feature film itself, obviously, but about what I did to prep for the feature film because this is the first time I was actually running a, as a camera operator in a feature film where I had to use my own 
equipment and as you can see my black magic is the one I used because they wanted they were using a black magic 2.5k but only at 1080 so they wanted a, a this is a B camera and I'll do a follow-up video on what I did to prep for it uh, also I'm talking about the other bits of gear I use not just the camera but the things I use around the camera like a shoulder rig steady cam and tripod so those will come into it as well i'll probably make a separate video on those i hope you enjoyed hearing about my tales of feature film camera opping and i'm gonna leave a link in the description to one of these because i highly recommend this is like the one bit of gear if anyone recommends me say uh, asks me for recommendations of their next purchase this is going to be it because these you will not believe how useful they are i mean it stops your camera cooking and it stops your camera getting wet. But, um, yeah, I will say I can't find this exact one, though. Because this one came with my bag. And I'll probably leave a link in the description to my bag as well. I've already done a video on it, but I'll just leave it Amazon link. Uh, the one, the only other one I can find of this one, it looks it's exactly the same as this, only it doesn't have the Velcro on the inside here. And it's not silver on the inside, it's blue, but it still looks reflective, so it still probably could work. I don't know, but I'll leave a link in the description to that. I highly recommend everyone gets them, and I shall see you in the next video.